Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2015, and we're excited to have with us Great Good Fine OK. <laughs>
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Great Good Fine OK. What's up, dudes? Uh, welcome. Thank you very much for coming out and performing for us. Um, I would like to first just ask a little bit about the gear that you're using. I haven't seen this, uh, the Mallet Pro, or the Mallet Cat Pro, sorry. The Mallet it, Cat Pro. Yeah, in our studio ever. Where, how did you come upon that? Well, I'm honored instrument? to be the first yeah, dude. Mallet Thank Cat you. Pro Thank user. you. <laughs> um, I don't know. I grew up in, you know, jazz vibes was the thing that I was into. Vibraphone. Okay. okay. Which is just another mallet keyboard instrument kind of laid out like this, like a xylophone or yeah. marimba or something like that. Yeah. And um, this is basically like a electronic version of that. Okay. So. Sure. And and then the other things you're working with, like what what is that down there? Those, that, I don't know, pedal board? This is, um, yeah, it's just like a foot controller. Okay. <laughs> Made by uh, Keith McMillan. Okay. It's called the Soft Step 2, so I'm just kind of using that to change patches. Yeah, right on. And what interests you about these sounds specifically that you guys are using? I mean, Rust, who is interested in all the all the stuff in there, right? Just making, So many toys. Yeah, hitting, hitting that specific sound. Like, what is it that you like about those noises? Like, the sort of 80s vibe, I suppose. I think we're just... We're audio geeks. We're, we're, okay. We're into you know, interesting sounds and, uh, um, you know, creating new sounds, but also, you know, like referencing sounds of records we really love and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah. Others on that agreed or. Yeah. I mean, we're just huge studio nerds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, you wish <laughs> that you had a studio like this yeah. or whatever, you know, what are you guys working out of back home? I mean, what did you record? What have you been recording all of uh, the songs in? Um, that okay right cool. there <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> on the road or in a in a space um yeah i mean kind of just like in our apartments okay we have little setups that we use sure um we do some stuff in in studios but it's mostly mostly at home yeah do you get in trouble like noise wise i mean you're sharing a lot of tight space with other people yeah or? i mean i don't know i'm i'm kind of lucky it's my neighbors don't seem to mind okay. or they don't hear it or something. Yeah, <laughs> something between those two or yeah. they don't have the guts to come tell you to turn it down, yeah. down I suppose. Yeah, sweet. Okay, well, thanks for sharing, guys, and yeah. coming out. You can roll into your next one when you're ready. You ready? Here we go. Come on, man. 
without you Should I try and stop you? And I don't think there's a right time Every time I think about you Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Great Good Fine, okay. I'm curious if uh, we can go individually if you want or together as a band. You guys saw a show that blew you away this year, whether it was like a band you're on tour with or somebody that you've always wanted to see and haven't been able to check out. I saw Anyone? Christine in the Queens recently. Oh, okay. Big fan. Kind of blew me away. Sweet. Yeah. Where at? Um, at Webster Hall in New York City. Okay, awesome. What yeah. what was special about it, or why did you think it was so amazing? Her stage presence and her charisma, and she's kind of uh, doing something that I don't see much. Um, okay. In in any performer these days, um, and it's palpable, and the, the audience is just like there with her, and uh, and then not only her performance, but the songs are incredible. Mm, so. Sure. So pretty commanding, you would say, like that. There's oh, yeah. a there's a connection there. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, she she performs with these um, two male uh, dancers. Okay. And they're doing stuff together, and then they're doing things. I don't know. It was just great. Was Sweet. Great, yeah. Others. Um, when we were on tour uh, a couple of months ago, we had a day off in L.A. Yeah. And we saw our friends Hiatus Coyote. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hiatus Coyote is sick. And we're we're good friends with the bass player in the band, Paul okay. Bender. Um, Luke actually used to be in a band with him back in college, mm -hmm. and so they were just amazing. They blew us away. Yeah, dude. Oh, I've, yeah. I've never been able to see them, but they're pretty. Yeah. Like, how many people perform in that band? It's four of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just really. Yep. Okay. Sweet. What band? You were in a band in college. What with him? Yeah, with him. It's called Van Gloria. Okay. Cool. I don't know. It's on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so check it check out. Check it out. <laughs> Everything has like less than a thousand listens. So. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. With <laughs> it's, it's uh, one of those. Yeah. It has the less than a thousand listens key. I like it. Uh, others. You too. Russ or Luke. Luke and I saw a preview of uh, Chairlift's Chairlift, new yeah. set. At, okay. Uh, Cameo Gallery, Gallery, which is a venue that just closed in Brooklyn. Okay. Unfortunately, I think we've all played there before. It was a cool spot. Um, yeah. And. Uh, Chris was mixing before uh, a band called Mr. Twin Sister, who are also really awesome. Nice. Um, and then uh, Chairlift, you know, performed all these songs off their new record for the first time. It's pretty awesome. Sweet. Very intimate. Very intimate. Yeah, yeah. Do Do you tend to like shows that are closer like that? You know, in smaller spaces, there's obviously merit to a Webster Hall or to you know whatever giant stuff. But I don't know. It's it's always cool and it feels really special and it, it, I think it ends up being memorable when. It's intimate. And that, that was a situation where it was like, you know, I don't know, 150 people. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like a mm -hmm. community sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. What about when you guys are playing shows? Do you have a preference over, I don't know, o opening for a band where, where you're at a really large place or playing those like, you know, smaller clubs to 100 people or to 50 people, something like that? I don't know. It's tough. There's fun things about each of them, you know? Sure. You Honestly, for me, it's it's all about, like, the audience. Um, it can be Like amazing. their attitude, exactly. you mean? It can, okay. be, it can be an amazing crowd in a uh, in a very small venue sure. that's enthusiastic and dancing and into it, and I prefer that more than, uh, you know, more laid-back uh, crowd in a, in a big place. But sure. if it's a if it's an excited crowd in a big place, that's my Then favorite. that's the <laughs> optimal, <laughs> that's, right. That's optimal right. for me. <laughs> right, so if they're extremely into it, then and the more of them, them yeah, yeah. <laughs> the better. Yeah, right totally. on. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, you can roll into your next one when you're ready. All right. I can't wait for the time to come When I fall out of bed And I like how the day is going Do you hope that there's something more When you 
you change up your life and you come to see what's worth knowing Watching Audio Tree live. We're in the studio with great, good, fun. Okay, 
I think that also marks the first guitar. There was somebody who slung it, slung like just a keyboard around and played it in that way because they had like their left hand doing something else or whatever. But I think the first true guitar, you're awesome. Look, you know, thank you. Thank you. What about that. the first sequin uh, kimono? <laughs> yeah, the first sequin kimono. Okay, wait, wait. We've had, we've definitely had one kimono, but I don't think it was sequined. How, how many of those do you have? Because I saw a bag. Ooh. Um, with me, I only have about 12. Okay. Um, <laughs> Total, though? <laughs> Total, I, it's, it's upwards of 40 or uh, okay. so, something in those kind of numbers. You're just uh, collecting them at this point? Well, or? it's sort of like, you know, it's what I like to perform in. Okay. So it's just, yeah, I guess it's become a collection, but it's mainly just because I like to wear something different. Uh, every show. Yeah, right and on. So you need a lot of stuff. Yeah, you, if you're gonna, you if you lot. do that many shows, right? <laughs> yeah. When was the first one? Do you remember the first show or the no, first the first kimono? Well, the first kimono did align with the first with the show. first show. Okay. Um, when was that? Sometime in 2013. February. February 2013. And you just thought I like Japanese stuff. I'd better buy this. Or? Well, what it was is when we when we formed the band. Um, we were trying to think of, uh, I was trying to think of what, what the band looks like to sure. me. And uh, I was walking through a thrift store and I saw the first red kimono um, that, that's in all the uh, press photos back then. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it, it like had a halo around it. Um, <laughs> it was shining <laughs> it was over shining, in the corner. And, I, and yeah. that was it. And the, the relationship uh, between me and kimono has begun. <laughs> it's continued and, uh, to move. It's only uh, escalated. Yeah. What are, uh, what are your top three? Well, there's a couple that I've had custom made. Okay, uh, this Whoa, is one sweet. of them. Yeah. So, uh, those are, are dear to my heart. But also, that first one is pretty special. Um, yeah, there's a couple other ones. Uh, hopefully, one day there'll be a documentary about all my kimonos about all the kimonos and, <laughs> and where they live. Yeah, you'll and... see them all. You'll see them all. <laughs> What's like the best spot to pick them up? I mean, thrift stores. But is, are there certain <laughs> places? Or? Thrift stores and uh, specifically in Portland, Oregon. Okay. In Seattle. Those are West Coast is where to go. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, New York had some good ones, but I think I got them all. <laughs> so took all th of it's New no York's longer a kimonos. good place to go for kimonos. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, would you mind showing just the custom part of it? Would you oh, just yeah. show the camera because well, the uh, whole it's thing cool. is the custom part. Right, of it. right, right. But what makes it custom? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. Folks. Well, first of all, we've got this material here that flips from green to black. If you can see that, I don't know, is that picking up? Is that yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and then you've got the uh, kind of mermaid inside. Oh, nice. I didn't even notice that. On. So, you know, pretty special piece. Sweet. Was that a, like a friend's creation or? Um, it was kind of, no, I found that material um, at a store and then just found someone who could make the pattern okay. and then someone who would sew it. And yeah, it was friends doing it um, for really inexpensive. And got it. Yeah, I got it done. Sweet. Uh, thanks, you guys, uh, for being here, for sharing. You can roll into your next one when you're ready. You all else look very great, too. You know, I don't, I don't want to discourage <laughs> anyone. It's all my stuff. <laughs> it is all his stuff. <laughs> well, that makes sense, then. Except the shirt that Danny's wearing. That's a brand new piece. This one? Yeah. Yeah. A fan sweet. made this. A fan made this one. Okay, sweet. And that's the uh, the body. Oh wait, sorry. What's her? That, that body is that's diamond. the body diamond. Yeah, got exactly. it. With squad on. Sweet. Um, and squad is the fan proclaimed uh, name of our kind of uh, of our fans. Of our fans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If you're a fan, you're part of the squad. <laughs> other side took your time and made me feel alive why'd you let me go you never try you want to be alone what did you take of mine was it fun like you're the other guy passing on by everything you can think when you are a kid funny how we try but you
Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Great Good Fine, okay. You guys can get ready to go into your last one, and I will say that they're on tour with Panama Wedding for one more night, which is tonight, Shuba's at 8 p.m. Um, new single, Take It or Leave It, which they just played, is out now. You can get that online and Body Diamond, their 2014 release. You can still get any other album or touring news. There's that another I say EP or... called uh, 2M2H, cool. which you can also pick up. Sweet. Awesome. And uh, look to their website for uh, future shows. Take it away, dudes.
This is Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Great Good Fine OK. You can get the EP 2M2H out now and look to the website for tour dates next year. Thank you guys very much for Thank you for having us. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, and viewers. You can become squad members by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks. Send us a shout via social media um, to us or to the band if you just want to reach out. And from all of us here at the Audio Tree Studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Sweet.